Back a few episodes ago, I used some double bubble insulation as a template for cutting the fabric in the breathable insulation curtain I was making. In today's video, I'll give you an update as to how we've been putting these to good use and also how we've improved them. So as I mentioned we use this double bubble foil with aluminium faces front and back and bubble wrap in the centre as a template to correctly size the fabric in our breathable heat, light and noise insulation curtain for the upstairs pop top roof bed. got used because it was left over from another project and it was the perfect size. I tidied up the raw edges with some aluminium tape and it fits neatly between the outer canvas layer and the inner fabric insulate insulation layer. We've used it twice now as an extra layer of insulation once in late November and once in early February. And whilst the benefit of it being there can be felt, the fact that it acts as some sort of vapour barrier is a bit of a problem. It's a problem because although most of the surface is doubled up, it isn't by itself a very good thermal barrier. This stuff works by reflection, so reflecting the cold back out and the heat back in. That means though that the surface temperature of the foil itself is very similar to the outside temperature, and so all of the water vapour inside from breathing can condense on the surface. This isn't a major issue as although I can see condensed vapour when we come to pack up it's not causing any damp and does disappear quite rapidly once we've given everything a good airing. Nevertheless we've just finished another project in the house and have some of this super duper multi-layer foil quilt insulation left over and this stuff thermally insulates as well as reflects so I'm going to stick some of this on top of the existing double bubble and hopefully it will then be super insulated. The individual pieces have become a lot bulkier and larger and difficult to wield and we'd really still like access to the windows in the canvas so I've chopped the larger pieces into sections. I've also stuck some velcro flaps into place to help the pieces support themselves. In terms of sticking everything together all I've done is edge everything with the wide flexible aluminium tape. And here's what all the foil pieces look like piled up together. I've created a little storage bag with some uh, plastic clips to hold everything together. It's far too large to carry around just for the sake of it, uh, but it's easy enough to grab and pack if we're heading off for a bit of midwinter caravanning. One day someone will invent a well insulated pop top bed, maybe taking inspiration from the folding hard roofs on Trigano's silver caravans or Heimer's Vision Venture concept vehicle. But until then, we're now at least fully equipped for caravanning in all temperatures. Thanks for following along. Please do give us a thumbs up if that was helpful to you. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.